So with arms race being the new focus point to this game, my guess is many of you beauties are wondering what's on offer within this new mode. Well that's what I bring you today guys. Also with a map of where said legendaries can be found specifically. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Okay so today guys we check out all 20 new arms race legendary items which I will mention as far as I am aware these are 100% exclusive to arms race and the enemies and chests within here. So let's go and on to the 20 new items we have. Firstly class mods and we have one each. For flak we have the error. Undamaging an enemy, Pet has a 20% chance to auto attack using attack command with a 6 second cooldown. Moore's class mod is called the Eternal Flame. Whenever Moore's ignites an enemy, 15% chance to reset action skill. Zane's class mod Spy. Last charge on the Mantis Cannon activates all kill skills with a plus 10% effectiveness with an 8 second duration. And Amara's class mod the Kensai. An action skill deal 10% attuned elemental melee with weapons for 6 seconds. Ok so we're going to move away from the class mods and onto those weapons starting with snipers and there are two snipers here. We have the binary operator and the boogeyman. Firstly the operator. When hitting an enemy with a lower HP value than the weapon's hidden value it will one shot that enemy otherwise it will deal 2 damage. There's also a version of this sniper which deals 1 damage. But yes, that's a crazy crazy weapon. Quite a bizarre addition if I'm honest. But yes, when hitting an enemy with a lower HP value than the weapon's hidden value, it will one shot said enemy. Ok so the boogeyman. Chance to spawn a boogeyman on kill. High chance to not consume ammo. Like what people? Craziness, craziness. Ok so next up we have a shotgun. The critical fog. Critical hit damage ricochets to a nearby enemy with a plus 200% critical hit damage bonus. Pretty cool. Then we have an assault rifle called the Hot Foot Teddy. Increases damage the longer you fire with a max of a plus 90% after 4 seconds. It also locks onto the enemy and chains to others. Pretty cool. Next up we have SMGs and there's two here the Plasma Coil and the Dark Army. The Plasma Coil. It shoots long and fast bursts of elemental orbs and deals splash damage. The Dark Army spawns an army of 3 drones which is pretty cool. On reload you throw this weapon and it causes an elemental pool. And also drones get plus damage and the weapon's elemental type. So that's badass people. Next up we have 4 pistols starting with the tizzy. Increases fire rate the longer you shoot. We then have the trick shot, it's full auto and expires remainder of the mag upon a critical hit. Then we have the firefly, now listen to this, shoots fireflies that hatches babies inside the flesh of enemies, I mean wow, only in borderlands. And then we have the res, heals an ally or revives them when they are in fight for your life with a 30 second cooldown, I mean they are going absolutely all out of how unique these weapons are now. Ok so next up we have a grenade called the hot spring and what this does is it spawns a healing aura which you can stand in and heal yourself or your teammates can stand in and they can heal themselves, pretty cool. Ok so next up we have two artifacts, the death rattle and the holy grail. So the death rattle, get 3 second wind on death, resets on death, rare plus damage and plus fire rate on every second wind for 60 seconds, pretty cool. So the holy grail. After reviving an ally, both players gain plus 50% weapon damage, a plus 33% movement speed and plus 10% health regen for 60 seconds. So these are truly some unique artifacts. And then we have shields and there's three here. We have the gas mask which gives you a plus 50% fight for your lifetime. We have the mad cap which has a minus 50% fight for your lifetime but a very high capacity. And then we have the best car, 100% chance to reflect while shielded. So that's pretty cool too. But yes guys, Gearbox have gone all out of how unique some of these items are and I cannot wait to see how these are going to be used. But some pretty cool legendaries here for sure. So on screen now you can see a map of the arms race, you can see all those loot caches and you can also see what has an increased chance of dropping where. But I will state as far as I'm aware though these are random across the entire plane from any enemy and any loot cache as well as the final boss of arms race but it is said that these chests have an increased drop chance 
of said legendary chicken sit on screen now. So guys, I hope this video helps you out. And on that note, we have come to the end. Guys, if it did help you out, leaving a like really helps me out. If you enjoy Borderlands and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.